Hi, this is Just Error Notes. This is my collection. These are not from eBay. These are not from uh, the, the web where I grabbed from somewhere. This is just notes that I've collected. Uh, okay, and this first one here is a 1969. And hopefully you can see it, but we, on the serial number, there's a F67 over here on this side. There's an F68. So this is mismatched serial numbers. And this, like I said, this is a 19, I believe, 77, 1969 series. Okay. And then we have just a regular old looking note. Except if you turn it over, this is a 1981, by the way, if you turn it over, you have George Washington on both sides. So this is where uh, I picked up the ink from uh, another another sheet of paper and it was transferred and it went off onto this page. Well, it was um, grabbed right away and it's uncirculated and I had it uh, graded and you can see that it's PMG 66. We have another one. This one was obviously circulated. Nothing special on the front, but if you turn it over on the back, you have George Washington once again. So these are fairly common, but they just don't happen on the newer notes. Here's a $10 with the same situation. Okay, Alexander Hamilton on the front, Alexander Hamilton on the back. Hope that shows through. Lighting's a little funky especially when they're in the plastic carriers. Okay, then we go to um, where the printing is actually misplaced. You'll see where, eh, let me take this out of, the, out of the plastic slip and it will show up better. There we go. So you can see where the eight is down here in the one and over here the eight is over in the S Secretary of Treasury's signature and this is obviously too low this is too low but it made it out into uh, a bank somewhere and it was grabbed it was uncirculated though so it's a very nice note here's another one that is um, misaligned but it's over inked as well. This side's fine, but over here it's uh, grossly over inked and the serial number is too low. So that's an uncirculated $20 bill. That's definitely a nice error note. Here's a few under inked notes. These are star notes. I got these in a, a brick of a hundred star notes. And over here, the, the last number was almost faded out completely. And there were about 20 of these notes in that hundred. Here's another one. So if you're looking for errors, there they are. And this one came from the same brick, but interestingly enough, it's the second to the last number over here. Then we get into uh, something that I just particularly like. It's an over-inked $100 bill. It's on the serial number over here. But what I really like about it is the over-inking is dramatic on the star note, on the star. If you blow it up and look at it closely, it looks like a stepped on starfish maybe. So I did did blow up a picture and you can see, I don't know how well it shines through, but that does not look like the usual star notes. I have about 150 star notes and on every one of them, every star is crystal clear and perfect. Kind of like the one on this side. 
anyway, and then we have miscut notes. This is a 1976 Bicentennial $2 bill, and you can see it's sheared off right at the very top. But down here, there's a big white margin. So I thought that was pretty drastically um, mis misaligned, miscut. You won't find any of these at your bank or in your wallet. Uh, okay, you might find a unicorn in your wallet, but you won't find uh, these error notes. You'll have to search them out at coin shops or uh, coin shows or trade with other collectors. But uh, they don't make these errors anymore. They don't make these mistakes, except for maybe the... Um, Except for maybe the overinked or miscut, very few. So, but so far as uh, mismatched serial numbers or Benjamin Franklin on the both sides, no, that that's not going to happen anymore. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Bye now.